Alright, all right, guys, so um, just so you know, this is going to be a post-commentary. This was actually a live commentary, but I was messing around with my... This is actually pretty stupid of me. I was messing around with my headset before, and there's a voice changer feature on it. And I think I left it off at the giant voice. So anyways, the next day when I began recording... I forgot to turn off the giant um, voice changer and so when I did my live commentary I, I ended up recording my voice changer instead of my voice so I was like okay screw that I'm just gonna do a post commentary I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna make it live when yeah so cause I want my real voice I don't want that voice changer effect on it so but yeah this is gonna be my first Post commentary, and we'll see how it goes. I guess I've never really done a post commentary over a video before. I don't think that I can recall ever. Everything I've done usually been live. So, <laughs> all right. So, this is at the pet shop here. This is where I got my pet volumes three and four. I have um, pet volumes 1 and 2 already. Now, the main thing you should learn, I think, with the pet volumes is 1 and 3. But I'm not sure. Okay, right here. See, girl next door. Make sure you get that. In the magazine stack. If you didn't see it, then um, rewind the video back and... Yeah, just before I go in there. Because you want to make sure you get that. In this room, I got the Timber Maniacs. So now I'm done with this place and I left. And the next area, I didn't really do much at this place anyways. I think I had like over, I think I had like over 20 something minutes recorded, which is actually a lot, but that's because I was doing optional things. And this old man's house, I'm trying to get 500 gil right now. You just keep uh, pressing the action key on the fireplace. And you'll have options keep coming up. And the final option will let you get to 500 go. <laughs> so yeah, that's the... Look closer, now I get to 500 go. 500 go. Alright, so... <clears throat> now I leave this area, and I'm about to... Start doing the main part of the mission soon. Right now there's um, gonna be soldiers blocking my way. These two scumbags, and I, I'm gonna have to get through them first before I can get into the pub. So, yeah, I'm gonna quickly be disposing of this trash. After that, I get into the pub. Now, um, it's actually what, uh, what was I? Gonna, talk about before I forget. Anyways, it's gonna be a shop on the left and you can buy some items there if you want, but oh yeah, I didn't I didn't really buy anything there because I didn't need anything. I think maybe I bought five high potions I think. <laughs> but even though I'm probably not gonna use them. So you got a boo card from that. Inside the pub here, there's gonna be that drunk guy, you can either get a forbidden card or a Tonberry card. Now you get a Tonberry card by just talking to him and telling him you have tell him about the card and then he'll give you the Tonberry. Or you can buy him a drink. At my part of the playthrough, he only needed a Mimit drink. So I bought him a Mimit drink and I got a Forbidden card. And then the guy moves him out of the way. Now soon coming up is gonna be um Cypher and Sorceress idea and oh man this is the I think the sorceress controls him his mind but this is where cypher turns evil the first part of it so yeah this is it right here we just have to go through this um TV broadcast first or whatever it is and then we can then I'll have to move up to the area so I guess I'll follow up. Oh man, this is where Renoir gets on her period. 
<laughs> she gets so mad over something. I think it's because Squall's being a dick all the time. And yeah, Renault got a little bit fed up here. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> she just goes nuts. No, she doesn't go nuts, but. She's on her rag. We'll cancel the plan. We don't stand a chance that we take him head on, right? So you guys probably think this is all a game to us? Well, it's not! We are serious! See, she's pissed, man. She's mad. She is mad, bro. Oh, look, she just ditched us. Freaking Renoa. That's what happens when you have women in your party. Alright, now this freaking guy. He's gonna be. No, this is the real president this time. Remember in the last episode, we had to battle the fake one? This guy's about to call up the real one, so. There he is. He looks like that other president. Oh, for what's his name, man? I can't even think of his name right now, but. <laughs> yeah, he looks like someone in real life. See, see, it's a peace proposal to the world. I knew it. Unfortunately, there are some drifting problems between Kabaddi and the other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to convene with the other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will, re who will be my re representative for the conference. Man, all oh, this just introduced an ambassador. And the ambassador is a sorceress. Yep. At this point of the game, we can't stop her because we're too weak, so... She's gonna be using her stupid powers to freeze us. And during the live com, I was like, "Yes, yeah, Cypher, slice his neck off." <laughs> but yeah, uh, here comes the part of the sorceress. Now we're just gonna have to move up out of this area. And I think I'm. Very close to getting my line hurt now. I think there's like a f maybe one more area or so, and then I can go um, to the part where I have to fight the brothers, GF, because if I convert one of them into Adamantite, then I just have to do one more thing really fast after that, and or I think that's the last thing I need to do actually. Huh. So yeah, I might have Adamantite. I might have Lionheart very soon. Alright, so this is it now. Cypher is gonna take the president guy into the back room. Cause, and that's where the sorceress is. And of course, Zell has to open it up his big mouth and ruin everything. Ah, oh, freaking Zell. You stupid idiot. What the f- Zell, please. Be quiet. Instructor, I know. You're gonna take this stupid idiot back to the garden, right? Shut up! No! See, he just said it. I see, so you're all from the garden. Uh... Zell, this is why I wish you were in my party. Should anything happen to me, the entire Gabadia military will undoubtedly crush Garden. You can let go of me now. Nice going, chicken wuss. <laughs> you and your big mouth. Yeah, nice going, Zell. Jeez. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so... Now we're just at the head into this room. And Sorceress is going to be in there. <laughs> poor, poor boy. Stay away from me. Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward, retreat? You have to decide. Stay back. Oh, and we're done. Frozen. The boy and you was trying to come back. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. 
Yeah, I think she's a mind fucking cipher, man. Anyways, Cypher is gonna join a sorceress now. <laughs> I'm not. Stop calling me a boy. You don't want to be a boy anymore? I am not a boy. <laughs> Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. Cypher is a fool, man. And now we're all frozen. I should just land my PC right here next to it as a move. <laughs> now nah, I need to kill her more because of that. Stupid sorceress. Oh, that's that. Cypher's gone with the sorceress now, so. Never liked him, anyways. Who cares? Where's Cypher? Renoa! Who cares where Cypher is? He's not your boyfriend anymore, Squall is. Screw Cypher. You don't need him. You'll be okay, right? Why does it matter? Alright, so this is gonna be our little camping place where we just talk about some stuff. I cut out all the boring talk, by the way, because I just want to get through with the playthrough. There's really not much to talk about. It's just our next mission, basically, and... Right now we're going to be taking the train to Dole, which is, or actually we're taking the train to the East Academy Station, that's where I get off. And I'm going to be walking down to Dole, that's where I'm going to save my playthrough for the next one, for the next episode. The next episode is going to be a live one, so don't worry about that. Because I have every, I don't have that stupid freaking um, voice, voice changer effect on. So I can do a live commentary again. I like doing live commentaries way better than this anyways. The only reason why I'm doing the post commentary is just so I can have a commentary up over the gameplay. Even though there's really not much gameplay, it's just mostly a story based game. So much story in Final Fantasy. Alright, so this guy's Watts, he's not a bad guy. He's just dressed as a soldier to get around. And Renault just hopes he's okay and stuff, because Renault's the best. <laughs> I promise I'll be back, you take care, okay? Squall, please take care of Renault. Um, okay, I have my orders. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, client's orders. Now this guy, Zone, gives us the tickets. I actually had the naughty magazine that I'm supposed to give to him. Because he's a fucking pervert. So yeah, he just gave us the tickets to get on the train for free, so basically I don't want to pay anything. <laughs> Which is a bonus for me. Even though I make money so easy by just walking around. You make money so freaking easy in this game. Yeah, go on. Now in this part of the of the playthrough, they don't really do much in this train. They just talk about about the mission. It's just really not really that much. So I cut out I cut out that part. Actually, I don't even really think they say, they talk about the mission that much. Really, I think it's just blabber. Really, it's really nothing that interesting anyway. So I cut that out. <laughs> and now. We're heading to the East Academy Station. This is where I get off, right here. I don't actually record it, but I walk to Dole and I save my playthrough there. So I'm going to be starting my next episode at Dole and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Thank you for watching.